Hey guys, Telus here, and we have some new friends this time, huh? Pretty cool. The asset store has released a pack with the the asset from that short video that they made. It's insanely awesome, guys. I really recommend you to download and check it out. The scene has some really cool effects, has some top quality assets. I really recommend you to check it out. Um, I download here the exterior environment, uh, the character Adam, the guard, and Lou, this fellow right here. I will warn you guys that this scene is extremely heavy. It will not run very well in most of our computers. I need to turn it off the most of the effects because it's just too heavy to, to use it. But I think we can create something here pretty cool. First thing we need to check is layers because uh, this project has a lot of layers. Actually, I need to remove some of them because our system will automatically add layers that we need, like the stop move, the action, the head track and others. We need some space, so I have to delete some layers. So let's make sure that this platform here is using the default layers so we can walk. And um, let's also make sure that this, whoa, that's a lot of objects here. Uh, let me see this one, yes, this one, this one right here is also using a default layer, so we can walk. Okay, so let's create our character here. As I said on the previous tutorials, the ideal thing is to each character has their own animator controller. So let's do that for these characters. Really combat, animator, and let's create some copies of our original Melee combat. It's it's really slow to use the editor with this scene open. Let's create one for Adam, one for the guard, and another for Lou. And drop this into our animator controllers. Okay. Let's create our character here. Let's go to Invector, Melee Combat, create Melee Controller, drag and drop the Adam model here let's take this uh, in vector melee combat Adam and the default camera hit create and he's here let's delete the original Adam okay so let's test this character controller here and see if it works without any issues again guys this scene is extremely heavy it's of course beautiful but it is extremely heavy on performance so not all computers will be able to play like this okay wow it does look awesome right very nice indeed our characters jumps he rolls he crouches, runs, very nice. Okay, let's add a melee manager into our character here. Components, melee manager. Hmm, we can see that for some reason the hitbox on the arms are not correctly. Let's fix that manually it's really simple you can just um, resize the hitbox this way you can copy the component and paste here on the other side cool and Adam is punching and kicking like a badass well great let's create our enemy now go here in vector melee combat create npc here we have enemy ai or companion ai let's drag and drop here our fbx model and our animator controller that we created before it's in vector melee combat guard create here uh, enemy ai 
cool now that we've created our enemy let's add a millimeter to him okay same issue here with the player easy to fix don't forget to check who is your target in this case we will make the player our target and the melee manager who you can hit in this case we want to hit the player and not the enemy now if you hit play you will see that the character doesn't move correctly he just keeps standing right there that's because he doesn't have a nav mesh you need to bake a nav mesh in order to make the character move around the scene so remember to bake a nav mesh you need to set your game object as a static so let's bake one here very quickly and you can see the path uh, that the character will walk well, let's bake this area to uh, make sure that we pick the right area it's this one cool let's make that static and bake cool for some reason um, this terrain can't keep as static so let's uncheck this but since we already baked the nav mesh will remain here and the character will work as expected now let's test it and see if he can follow me great now he he can walk and follow me. let's fight him mm, this is interesting apparently he is not causing any damage to me let's take a look into what is causing this this is very simple you can check our animator here and go to the attack states and see that where is our behavior we used to have a script here called melee attack control melee attack control but sometimes when you re-import a project into another version of unity sometimes the behaviors can get lost in the process so in this case you can go in here we have separated a quick fix for that so you can open your folder here and just replace the originals okay this will make our behavior our behavior goes back okay let's see if it works and now the enemy can take damage and can apply damage to me okay cool now let's create our companion NPC drag and drop the loo here and assign the melee inventors melee combat loo all right the companion uh, we need to change the text to detect this is who is your target our target is not the player our target to apply damage is the enemy okay and we need to add a melee manager into him and this is already correct is the enemy that we want to hit let's just fix the hitbox here very quickly okay now let's test this go back a little bit and me too okay it looks fine uh, let's see here we detect the enemy and let's see if they they will fight okay let's watch this fight <laughs> pretty cool huh now that was not a good fight because it's two against one so let's give this guy a melee weapon huh prefabs weapons let's give him a katana and yeah, katana will be nice drag and drop here into the hierarchy um, and now we can assign into his hand 
Oh my god, that's a lot of bones. <laughs> mm, where is my katana? Here. That's a lot of bones. I think it's here. Let's see. Mm. Now, don't forget that your companion has their own tags and layers. So, your enemy will also need to have the tag here companion AI and the tag here to apply damage okay let's see the final battle created a awesome prototype using this incredible assets from the asset store uh, next tutorial we will see a, a little bit about our inventory system how to make create a collectible items and how to manage your uh, weapons okay see you there